I joined Prager Force. I got to know other young people around the country, around the world that had similar values. And I got to know the people at PragerU. They knew that I was an actor. They're also based in Los Angeles and they invited me into their offices and said, would you like to make videos for us? Uh -huh. I was like, yes, I have right. nothing else to do. Right. Hollywood right. is shut down and bored out of my mind. I want to do something that's meaningful. Um, and then I jumped from that to writing, um, I did some economic journalism at Foundation for Economic Education and did social media for them as well. Jumped to Young Americans for Liberty, running their TikTok and Instagram accounts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, and so I had a, a growing, I wouldn't say big, because it's nowhere compared to where I am now, but I had a growing Instagram presence mm -hmm. just through TikToks and Reels, all short form. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up one day and saw a DM from Daily Wire, and they said, hey, we've been loving your content on Instagram. Would you want to— And that to was what year? That was— 2021. 2021. Okay, so it's three years ago now. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so you got a DM from who? Uh, it was a producer at Daily Wire. I see. And she was like the social media video producer. Uh -huh. And she had been tasked with finding a couple of people that were doing well on social media, young people. Mm -hmm. And because they, uh, a member of their team who worked on the YouTube channels, he had the idea that we needed a YouTube show. And he was, these were all people that were around my age. And it was very, very cool. And I think a lot of people look at my show and people that have critiqued me before and they imagine, you know, Jeremy Boring sitting in his glass office being like, I need to get the youth. So like, I knew whatever, it was all, this was like, I'm going to create something for the young people. It was all people my age. They were sitting in the Daily Wire offices saying, we need content for us. We want something that we will watch, that we relate to, right, that is based right. on YouTube, that's based on the internet. And so... They tasked this video producer with finding people that were already out in the world doing that. So I got a DM and they said, would you be interested in launching a show with us? Well, they say, you know, it takes 10 years to become an overnight success. And you yeah. certainly put in your 10 years and you said you'd accumulated all the social media mm -hmm. experience and you'd said yes to a lot of things. I you said, said yes. yes to Prager. You said yes to mm -hmm. uh, Young Americans for Liberty, et cetera. Mm -hmm. you were... And funnily, I almost said no to Daily Wire. Uh -huh. I, I was too scared. Because it felt like the big leagues. Like I had looked at Daily Wire. I had applied for, I had applied to be Candace's assistant. This was all during my graduating year, like that spring. I had applied to be Candace's assistant. I had applied to be a producer on Ben's show. I had applied for some social media role. I just, mm. I looked at- And then at, you got a bigger offer. I got a bigger offer. And I got, I got no interviews for any of those roles. And granted, I was not mm. really qualified for any of them. And I, I could have- So what scared you about the Daily Wire offer? It felt huge. I felt like I wasn't ready. And well, I also you think I was. Weren't. I don't know. And, you know, that's the good thing. You just, you know, jump in head yeah, first. Yeah, well, and, that's the thing. You know, when you make a status transition, if it's a major transition, you can't be ready when it first happens. This is partly why faith is necessary in mm -hmm. life, eh? 